If you're a UK investor and you invest in active funds, you've got a real problem at the moment. S&P has just published their report recording how well active funds do versus their benchmark, and the results are abysmal. That makes me half and half angry, and also at the same time sad. I'm angry because you pay extra for active funds, and if you're paying extra, you should get returns above the benchmark. That's the point, right? At the same time, I'm sad because these people are really doing their best. They're not charlatans. They're very intelligent people who are trying to beat the index, but failing. So if you want to see why I'm riled, let's take a look at that report. If I pay £200,000, it'll buy me a Ferrari. But I wouldn't expect to pay 200 k for a Reliant Robin, even if I was an enthusiast. Well, how does that relate to funds? If I buy an active fund, there's a human in charge of buying and selling assets, and that's relatively expensive. If I'm paying a fee, I want to be repaid more than the fee in terms of outperformance, and that's measured relative to a benchmark. If I don't get that outperformance, well, I may as well just buy the benchmark. I'll go for a passive fund which costs less, and all it has to do is match the benchmark, which is just an index. So the index could be the FTSE 100, it could be the FTSE 250, or the S&P 500. Standard & Poor's is a company which maintains indices. For over a decade, they've been keeping track of active funds in the US and elsewhere to see whether those active funds have outperformed the benchmark. So here's the US. 92% of the funds, and remember these are equity funds, underperformed the S&P 500, and that's over a five-year period. The data we're about to look at looks at actively managed European equity funds, and it measures performance over a one, three, five, and 10-year investment horizon. And here's the table which upset me. Now look at the one-year column. That measures performance versus the benchmark over the last year. And here's UK equity. 87.2% of the funds were outperformed by their benchmark. And over a 10-year period, three quarters of them were outperformed by their benchmark. And that also applies to large cap, mid cap and small cap equities, which means big companies, medium companies and small companies. That means that as a UK investor at the beginning of 2016, there was a 90% chance that you'd have chosen a fund which would underperform its benchmark in 2016. And that wasn't just a blip. If you go back over a period of 10 years, and in 2006 you chose a fund, there's a 75% chance that fund would have underperformed the index over that 10-year period. And that is what makes me sad. The job of an active equity fund manager is to choose stocks which outperform the market. That's what they're paid for. But the evidence looks fairly overwhelming that they can't beat the market. Well, if you can't beat the market, you could just buy the market cheaply. A typical active fund will charge you 0.75% of your investment every year as a fee. In contrast, a passive fund will cost you three times less because just tracking an index is very cheap. There's very little skill involved. And that's what we mean when we say buy the market. In the US, Vanguard is the real champion of cheap passive funds. For example, some of their funds just charge 0.07% fee per year. And those very low fees have forced every fund to reduce their charges. And the message about underperformance and cheap passive funds has definitely got through to investors. In this graph from the FT, you can see that the cash has been pouring into passive funds, while at the same time it's been pouring out of active funds. And that's been happening for almost a decade. So if you're not happy with your active fund performance, and you don't think the managers are worth their fee, then the solution is simple. Don't get angry. Don't get sad. Remember, you can just move your money from active to passive management. Remember, this is not a recommendation. If you want advice tailored to your circumstances, seek independent financial advice. Does the underperformance of your funds frustrate you? We'd love to know. Tweet us at Pensioncraft, message us on Facebook, and if you like these videos, subscribe to our channel.